of at this juncture but basically done the roof from the ceiling so this time around what I want to do I want to proceed with the uh, placing objects inside this particular house plan at the same time you can add in the text and at the same time you can go ahead and uh, do the dimensions of this plan and such but before we doing start uh, I think I'm going to I want us to create a copy of this house plan the way it looks like right now so that uh, one copy will use, will use it to produce the blueprint just like uh, a little earlier in my videos and then the copy we are going to use it uh, to come up with a 3d outlook of this uh, plan so that we can be able to edit we can go ahead and render it and uh, we can also take it to software like to motion and lumion just to be able to render it so I want us to be able to create another copy of this similar similar house plan one copy will use it for producing the blueprint and the other copy will use it for rendering so basically what I'm going to do right now I want you to go ahead and click uh, this archicad to click your archicad again I want to click to my archicad uh, let me just give it time to run so why wouldn't want uh, to use uh, the same same copy so I'm going to create a new so I'm just going to create a new file over there why would it wait to use uh, the same same copy that I'm using the producing the blueprint to go ahead and rendering it so that uh, it will it will give you a hard time in terms of uh, if you have already placed the object inside you have already done the dimensioning and such on the ground floor and then uh, when you go ahead and plane the landscaping of this particular house plan and such kind of uh, will make your plan at the end of it all being quite uh, clumsy which we said is our aim we want to avoid the clumsiness and maintain the tidiness of our plan so yeah once I've created uh, this over here the new card file what I'm going to do right now I'm going to go back to my original file and I'm going to use this arrow tool and I'm going to highlight all the boundaries of this plan up to that point and then right click and then I go on and then I press copy once I've copied it I'll just go to to the new archive that I've just opened the new file and just uh, minimize it then just uh, paste and just paste the ground floor right over there so that's that we can now go back to to original one and then the next thing we are going to do we just go to the first story do remember that there are some elements that were transitioned to the first story like uh, the chimney slab at the chimney the walls that we used uh, to cover the weather boards and such so still also going to use the arrow tool i'm selecting all of this and then i press copy and then once i press copy just go to the the other newly created file and then uh, just right click it to go to first story and then you right click and just press paste so that's what we have over there when you go to the 3d of this we have the same 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 project so 
what I need us to do is that I want us to close one of the projects this one and I'm going to save this file let's go to file save us we come to save sorry you can just save it in whichever folder you are working on uh, this is the one, the one I have saved originally you can paste that down so to 3d bit of it yeah this is what you have over here from the one that you have created a copy of so it looks like that so there are some elements that are missing over here these walls I can just go back to where we had them let me select these walls first just go ahead and select shift the ones that you had at the, at the finishing board select that one and also select this other one and just press copy and then we can go back now to the one we created a copy with fat story and then just press paste so then go to 3d those are my walls i just need to trim like we did earlier so first of all if i trim we need to split this roof splitting the single plan roof okay i've already split it I just need to suspend two groups so that I'm able to select this two. We'll connect trim element to roof shelf trim. So you know that. You can just do the same for this. This two at the back over here. So we will press the connect trim elements to trim shelf and then just uh, press trim similarly to this one select the wall and the planes here right click you connect trim elements to roof shelf so you have to like that you can come now to the first story or better still you can just come back to the ground floor so we have these two copies over here. I want us to save this copy and we are going to save it as a file name. We can call it a three bedroom. Three bedroom. Three bedroom. And I'm going to save it as a 3D. The 3D part of, part of it. I just save it. Uh, as I save it to 3D, what I basically I mean, I mean is that uh, I'm going to use it for developing the 3D bit of it, including the rendering. We can transfer it to softwares like Twinmotion or Lumion, yeah, or even Atlantis, depending on uh, what you seem fit. But uh, we'll cross that bridge when you get there. So at the moment, uh, let's just proceed with that. Uh, with uh, creating the 2d of this so that we can be able to produce it on a blueprint so the next thing what i want to do i want to press objects place objects so i'll just go to the object tab over here right click it and then the first object i want to place is a bed just go ahead and search bed bed and i can work with uh, this kind of bed i can work with this one come to prevent positioning I want it to be at project zero that's where my slab is and then uh just a bit more dead yeah you can work with that but I need to determine its referencing point so I can decide to work with it like this or like this so that I can come and place this bit right over there this one I can decide to 
to go ahead and place this bed you can just repeat it like that go ahead and place this bed right over here stop at there you can just set it shift it like that and so we have our master over here for master bedroom you can use a different kind of bed since it's the master and decide to use this one, the one created to project zero. Um, then you can do it something like this. Okay, we just have our bed uh, right over here. We just need to drag this a little bit this side. Control D. Somewhere there. Uh, yeah, somewhere right there. The next thing I need to do, I want to place a kind of a desk. Desk in this room. That's basically like a working environment for those people in this room. So I can decide to do even this one. This one, I'll click over here and just press OK. It's going to be too huge. You can open that one like that. I'm going to need to do this one over. Yeah, I can decide to shift it this direction of the data right over there, somewhere there. Also, for this one, I can decide to, to add it in another working environment, just an working area that you can use. Yeah, we can add each one like that. With this one. Okay, let me shift to this bed. And delete this one. Use it. And let me just rotate it to this direction. Press OK. So, something like that. And then on this one, you can have a wardrobe somewhere here. So for the word drops, you can just go ahead back to the object tools and you search for the word drops. And the word drop, you can go ahead and use uh, this kind of word drop. Press OK. But I need to vary its settings over here. In terms of its model, mm. I can decide to use a more organic kind of kind of surface to this uh, one drop. Just press OK, and then just go ahead and place it right over here. And then we can just uh, I'm going ahead and selecting the one drop, and then I can adjust its size. some at that point I just I also need to use the same for this one let's press alt but I just need to rotate this so this is my reference point press ok then yeah that's my drop over there I need to drag this to this point yeah, so that's our one drop over there. We also have our working closet over here at the master. So I uh, just need to look for another one drop still for it. I can say to use this one. Still we're using the, that mahogany kind of texture. So mahogany kind of texture mostly does work with uh, objects that are made from wood. And uh, mahogany does get to improve on the appearance. Especially in apart from in Akikad, even in real life, uh, organ is quite expensive and uh, being able to afford it and use it in your room uh, does improve on the outlook of your house. So that's our working closet over there. I need to do uh, the settings of the lodge, but uh, before I do that, you can work in fast in 3D. 
to see what we have just done over here. We can, use, we can just explore. Press that explore button. And then uh, you can just go ahead. And just go. So yeah, that's what, we, what I'm talking about. We have already placed that bed. Also for this bed, I can decide to do a mahogany on it. 20. We just go here to the bed layout. And we go to uh, to the 3D representation surfaces. And on the bed frame, instead of using wood pine, anywhere that I have wood, I'm going to use mahogany. Where there is wood, we use mahogany. Just use mahogany. And you are going to see the difference between using pine grain and mahogany texture. And just press OK. And you see, as you can see, that's our mahogany kind of grooving kind of uh, texture on, uh, on a bed as you can see it does get to improve on its appearance so yeah this is our must over here with that working environment your bed your closet so yeah that's basically what we have over there you can just go ahead now and we do the the lodge go back to our ground floor on the lodge let's go back to the object tools and we're going to then search for sofas i want to use uh, this one. can you say to use this kind of layout prevent positioning for model since this is not a, a wood kind of uh, material we can Disable the texture. Mm, basically, rotate this one in that direction, or we can do that in that manner. And then we're going to have our lodge right over here. We can also add in some more sofas. Maybe this one is in a sofa. And drop this control D. I'm just going to take it to somewhere. Uh, control D. Somewhere like that. Sofa. Let me just get rid of this one and use different sofas instead. This kind of design for all the sofas. Just go ahead and just drop this. Control D. You can just place it right over there. So yeah, this kind of uh, the left of my sofa. I need a TV set over here and a coffee table somewhere over there so I can go ahead and search for table. 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 Look at this coffee table. 
Injected zero. Let's press OK and then you have it right over there. You can go ahead and uh, put the TV on the TV set. First of all, you just need for the TV stand to turn this way. You just go ahead and search for TV stand. TV stand. So I can see this is this one. This you now for this TV stand, I'm using a wooden TV stand made for mood so I can allow the organic type of texture on it. And then you just rotate this in that direction. And the reference point to be right over there. And then uh, can go ahead and just place it right over there right over there and then now uh, i need to place the tv and i should note that uh, my tv stand is at a height of 400 so i'm gonna go ahead and search for the tv i'm going to have this tv and uh, place it at a height of uh, to project it should be at a uh, to project 400 so to project 400 so that it can be able to settle on the TV stand now disable the organic texture okay and then you have it uh, right over there the next thing that I need to add on is the dining area so just go ahead and search dining dining area I can decide is this one and uh, yeah I can allow the organic texture on it project now this one back to default project to zero just press ok and we we'll have our any area right over there also there is a window that is supposed to be here on this dining area if I line some light I'm just going to press on alt so that I can use this similar similar door right over here sorry window so right to that and then can try to improve on its size to allow more access to light. It's 1500, find something like 20 to 100, or something like 1800, find something with 1800. Okay. So, yeah, 1800, we have a window over there. You also should have an empty window over here to access you from the kitchen to the dining area. I'm just going to my window tool and search for empty. I have a uh, my ellipse over there, my list of the book, but still using 1250, 1250 by 1250. Terms of its size, we can use 1200. 1200, yeah. okay. And then you can just place it uh, somewhere over here, right over there, and then on this kitchen. I need to do, I'm um, looking for a sink and some cabinets, so I can go ahead and search for cabinet. Cabinet. Cabinets, these are the cabinets that I have. I need just to use, uh, I can decide to use this one instead. And that is as my reference sink. Okay. Press OK. Then we have this cabinet right over there. You can go ahead and have uh, But uh, this time round, I should have disabled the mahogany texture on it. And 20. So just disable the mahogany texture on it. To, I need more cabinets. Just disable the mahogany texture. You can decide to use uh, this one. Over here, right. Set the height to 200. Yeah, I can still use this one somewhere. That's just my reference right point. You can just use it uh, somewhere like here. You can have that cabinet over right there. And then you can have another other type of cabinets. Like, uh, can use this one, this one for multi drawer or the dishwasher. Now, the dishwasher somewhere like, like that. You can go ahead and place it right over here so that it's near the sink. 
control D. Sometimes it's very important to include uh, the electronics so that uh, the electrical engineer when doing the computing of the the room is able to trace uh, where you have positioned the fridge so that the conduits can be done before plastering commences and such. So it's very important for you to be able to indicate uh, the electronics and where you want them to be positioned so that a proper condition can be done so this fridge you can just place it right over there and then uh, so that's basically what we have over there i can go ahead and improve on more shelves over here with the fact that uh, this uh it's uh so let's go ahead and look for some more cabinets so the mere fact that uh, this, uh, the fact that uh, my kitchen doesn't have a pantry, so I need to really maximize uh, more cabinets for storage. So I can use stain this one, all base drawer, and uh, place multiple of them right over here. Another one will be right over there. So yeah, such. Um, that's what we have over there. You can decide to add on others on the the wall surface. We have uh, this kind of shelves. But this time round, we want it to be at a height of 1,500 from the ground. We just press OK. You can place one maybe right over there so that when I go to 3D and I can decide to explore my house. So, yeah, so yeah, this is the dining area, the lodge is the dining area right over there. So this is the kitchen. As you can see, it's all of its shelves right over there. Not in the world. Yeah, so even the sink, it's right over there. Yeah. So uh, that's what you have right over there. The second, I beat it. We have that going like that and like that so the next thing i want to do i want to go back to my ground floor i need to change the shell over here let's press uh, ctrl t I need to rotate it to this direction and then uh, yeah okay and then just drag it ctrl d again drag into that position Right over there. So so far, great majority of the objects. I still need to add uh, the WCs and the showers and so on. So let's go ahead and search uh, the WC. So this is my WC. And it should be to project zero the WC. So okay. That's okay, we have one over here. But this common washroom and we also should be having another one here the master we should be having one over here the master 
enough for the next thing that we need to be having uh, should have a shower shower coming so show 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 the shower cabin when you said we do a shower cabin or can use the shower kit we just use the shower kit in this moment and then uh, I can have it coming right over here somewhere over here I'm just going to drag it through the and drag it right over there somewhere right over here so that's our shower cabin we also need a, a sink but before I do that the master we can go ahead and do a shower cabin for the master or maybe a, a tub yeah, I just do a tub the master for the master bedroom we can place this tab over here we just need to look at uh, how it's oriented just press ok you can have uh, let me just control the drag this one right over here then I uh, go ahead and do the tab over here just need to resize it Resize it a little bit. Resize it right over there. Also, the importance of laying out a uh, laying out uh, the WCs and what is that? Uh, it uh, gives information on the plumber or uh, on the type of plumbing that needs to be done in your house uh, you know so then control D just dragging it just go ahead and place it uh, right over here so yeah that's what I'm saying and that uh, gives information to the plumber on uh, the types of uh, pipes to use yeah and such so I'm um, searching for the I'm searching for uh, the sink the WC so sink 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 I just need for the matter can you start double sink I can place it uh, right over here oriented and is it right over there we also need another thing that we need to use for this other one for this other one we are going to use a single sink we can have it in this direction and just type it on bin right over there so basically I think I've been able to cover all the objects that need to be placed in this particular plan so there are some other objects that I need to include right here. You need an object right over there. We also need this shower right over here. And I just need to drag this control D up to that point. And then uh, that's basically it for that. And uh, I don't think there's anything else that I need. And you know, for the DSQ, you can decide to do, can decide to do a bed. And yeah, let me just place a bed on the DSQ. So just going to go ahead and search bed. Yeah, I can use a single bed like this one. Um, okay, so it's oriented in this direction. Okay. Yeah, something like that. The DSK. Control D. You can just drag it a little bit. Something like that. That's the bed for the DSQ. Uh, so basically, that's what we have. 
then decide to put an image here for the fireplace so just go ahead and search for fireplace fireplace and then I can decide to use uh, maybe this one or which design yeah, I can say to use this one Okay, and then uh, go ahead and place it right over here. The only thing that I need to do is now resizing it. Just need to resize it to this size. So yeah, that's basically our fireplace, and you can check it out. When you go to 3D, you just explore. You press the explore tab, and uh, you just go ahead and explore. And you'll see our fireplace uh, it's right over here so yeah I need to shift it again yep just go to control control T and then just rotate it like that and then control D just drag it uh, right about there so shift control D right about there so that when you go to 3D that's all that's our chimney over there that's our fireplace can just 3D explore this so yeah that's our fireplace Right about there. That's our dining area. That's our kitchen. We are do all this ellipse window text at the kitchen. That's our lounge. So that's our place. So I think basically I've done a place all the objects that I need to place. If I'm not wrong, I've been able to cover all the objects that I need to be placed over there so that's it guys I've come to the end of this video so in my next video I'm going to go on placing the texts the, the dimensioning then we can then proceed to the elevations and putting this on a blueprint so yeah thank you guys for watching